Douglas Murray is a Fox News contributor, and he joins us now. Douglas, uh, just answer the why. Why do tra <laughs> as best you can after watching that? Because we use some of the more cartoonish versions of it, but this is rampant, and there's rampant contemplation and self-reflection about identity reinforced on TikTok every day. Well, first of all, there is no such thing as non-binary. That's where all of this started to go askew several years ago, was adults conceding that there were like magical extra genders. There weren't just yes. men and women, there were non-binary. Nobody, by the way, knew what non-binary was. I, I, I said when it first started to come out that I would offer a cash prize for anyone who could explain it. I said that I thought that non-binary was basically just short for look at me. And uh, in the years since, that has been proven to be true because non-binary now isn't good enough. Uh, it's now people saying, I would like to identify as a table and call myself by paint pronouns and whatever. And people are meant to listen to this and take it seriously. And uh, you can't take it seriously. I mean, I feel very sorry for friends who are satirists these days because yes. uh, you just can't write satire because real life has overtaken it. But the second thing that needs to be said, Pete, and you know this, is this is a TikTok problem. Problem. TikTok is a Chinese company, and there is no difference in major companies like TikTok in China and the Chinese Communist Party. It is, in my view, a piece of malware from China. It is distorting the brains of young Americans, young people across the West who are using it for this self-absorbed nonsense. And frankly, it has an enormously corrupting effect on our society, and I think that's what the Chinese Communist Party intends. And by the way, this content is not available to Chinese kids. They're not right. having the non-binary conversation. This is an attack on us. Of course it is. Uh, it, it is a completely distracting dis and destructive tool. And I'm afraid that, that, that we really have to realize what we're up against here. There are serious problems with American youth, as you've just pointed out, Pete. And, th and yes. they need some sympathy. And they need to be, they need to be addressed. But we also need to look at the things that the adults have allowed into the culture, such as TikTok, which are deranging the kids and the adults should sort out. China wouldn't allow us to interfere in their affairs by no meddling way. the head of all of their young kids. So why do we allow them to do it to us? We, in a self-loathing way, we give it away because uh, we don't know how to defend ourselves or our culture anymore. Douglas Murray, thank you for getting to the heart of it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.